What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Inner House Podcast. This is episode 118. Now, we went on a little hiatus. Last week was the first episode back. This week is my, my first episode back. Shout out to Gabby for coming in hot with uh with the special guest last episode special guest special news yeah special news some big news dropped yesterday or last episode so if you haven't checked it out please go back and watch it it was a good episode uh before we get started please like subscribe uh comment on youtube turn on those bell notifications if you're on spotify hit that five star button rating we would really appreciate it especially if you've been listening to us for a while you did way better at that than I did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when I did that on Sunday, well, granted, I took like three <coughs> tries doing it because of the whole mess up. Yeah. But that was smooth. Nice. It's, it's the shades, bro. It's the shades. <laughs> yeah. This guy's wearing shades inside. <laughs> yeah. On a super gloomy, rainy day. Yeah. Oh, it's so nasty out there, dude. Yeah. But they're they're my first pair of prescription shades, so I figured I'd, I'd rock them. Oh, yeah. How are, you, how are you liking them? I love them. I don't know how they look on me if I look funny, but... Visually, I, think they look nice. I really like, I really like them. If, you know the um, on your phone how you can turn on the night shift and it, it gets feels warm. Like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how it feels. It feels like everything is just like on night mode. Damn, my notes didn't sync onto my fucking laptop. Oh well, I yeah, I haven't memorized. I hope. Oh, I might as well just start off with it before I forget. Actually, I won't forget that. Are you sure? Damn, dude. I, I, got, I got two things that I really wanted to talk about. I'll s- start with one that I can't just see right now. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, obviously, this is the ENR House podcast. We talk YouTube, <laughs> most mainly my YouTube. We talk soccer. Um, yeah, and we, and we touch on school. You know, it's that's like the the formula to our podcast. Yeah, YouTube, soccer, school, and then like and then it's gonna things. lean into dad talk. Yeah, both yeah. Your, well, you already are a dad. Yeah, right? and you're about to be a dad. Yeah. So we're slowly gonna be. I feel like we're slowly gonna morph into like a dad podcast. That'd be pretty. Fun. Which no I'm, name change though, because we already did. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, I've recently. I found this new website called Creator ML, mm. and basically it's a website that helps you kind of um, guesstimate how your video is going to do, mm. like your YouTube video. So how it works is you have your thumbnail, and you can compare thumbnails to see which one's going to do like better. Oh. And um, you have your thumbnail, thumbnail. You have your title, and then like it asks it asks you to put like the length of the video and like what category the video is in, and then you hit um, test. And when you hit test, it's like in it's like this cutting edge AI or whatever they do or whatever it's called. And a bunch of YouTubers use it, and the AI basically puts it in a system of like a certain amount of viewers. And then you get back the feedback of how that video would approximately do with the how long it is with that thumbnail, with that title, mm. and like with that category. And uh, <laughs> I use the video that's coming out today that I have. I use that thumbnail and uh, the title and everything. And apparently, uh, apparently, <laughs> AI says that the video would at least be getting 169,000 views. At least? It, it said 169. I'm like, all right. That's, that's I mean, interesting. I think I think that's the potential it has. Mm-hmm. But, like, obviously, you can only go so far with thumbnail, title, duration, category. Right, because it doesn't factor it's, in the actual video, right? Like, yeah, the content. Like, like it's saying, hey, this video can get these views if you have that, if you made the video correctly. Oh. Like if you had the engagement right. So I've been like trying so hard to make this video today like the best I can. Have you have you tested it, your past videos, to see what it says about your past videos? Yeah. So you link your YouTube channel to it. And when oh, you scroll down, it shows your past videos. And when you click on them, it says like estimated... Um, estimated views in in the next three months so it's telling you about how much that video is going to grow in the next three months Mm. but it already has the analytics of what it is now got it so i'm like i'm I'm gonna test it out and i'm i'm doing a lot better now about getting things done a lot earlier 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I'm doing a couple touches to the video today, but that's <laughs> I'm just doing very minimal touches, like the thumbnail, title, and everything are already thought of, already done. Right. And uh, but I'm doing better get, about getting things done early, so I can compare thumbnails with time, um, and make changes if I need to. Because like mm. the the testing thing doesn't really take too long. I know there's some websites where you put two thumbnails in and it takes like two days to test. And then after the two days, it shows you which thumbnail would work best. Oh, okay. But this one, it's like you click of a button, you wait like 10 seconds, and then it tells you. Nice. It like speeds up the process. Yeah, but I, I have to do a little bit more research on it because I've seen that it's really reliable mm-hmm. or like a good source or estimate. like like a good metric to see what what potential it has yeah because i know mr beast uses a specific website but this one particularly i'm not paying for right now because i'm on a free trial mm-hmm. but i'm i'm gonna cancel another subscription i have that i don't use to get that hey. because like, <laughs> at this point like i want to make sure my thumbnails and titles and everything are the best it can be right because i am officially less than a thousand hours away from being monetized. are you serious bro? yeah <laughs> less than a thousand less than a thousand well technically technically i am monetized already because uh there's two versions to it Oh, with shorts? No, the the first one is reach a thousand subscribers in three thousand hours of watch time, mm. and that gets you supers, uh, memberships. Like I can make memberships for my viewers now, mm. and uh, what else was it? Those are the only two that I remember. But basically, what supers are are kind of like you know how on Instagram you can go and um, like. Basically, there's a button above, like, your name that says, like, not donate, but, like, pay, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just like that. And okay. you can, you buy a super, and then it shows up on the chat that, like, you bought a super. And it's, like, one ninety nine, or you can customize it to however, how you want it. And then memberships, the best way to explain that is basically, um, uh... What's that one thing we wanted to do? What? It's basically exclusive content that you make. Oh, Patreon. Yeah, it's basically a Patreon that's already in YouTube. Yeah. It's a membership. Like a gym membership, there's three tiers or however many tiers you want to make. You can uh, make specialized videos for them. They'll have a badge next to their name whenever they come. Oh, that's cool. Saying that they're a member. Yeah. And yeah, I get to decide like my pricings on the... uh, on the tiers and uh, yeah I, so it literally is like patreon it literally is like, yeah. yeah yeah it's like the same business model yeah so i've reached level one of monetization oh let's go yeah, dude. Yeah. oh shit oh, yeah my bad i went in for the wrong hand <laughs> um but the big one obviously is the better one with reaching the adsense right with the adsense because with that to get paid all you need to do is have your viewer watch they don't they're not giving you anything out of pocket right right like with the memberships they obviously have to pay you Mm-hmm. And with the other ones, like, all they have to do is watch. Yeah. And that's the one I want. But <sighs> I saw Gabby and I talked about this last episode. 2024 is going to be the year I get monetized. Well, yeah, dude, you're so it has close. To be. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if you hit it, like, within these next, like, one or two months. Oh, shit. That'd be If nuts. that, you know. Yeah. Because a thousand hours, I mean, how much... I feel like... I mean, it's 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 kind of a lot, I feel like, but... It, it is a lot, but... Uh, so but if f- this video gets that 169k views, <laughs> done. bro, if it does, that's insane. <laughs> be monetized later today. <laughs> yeah, I I I saw that video or I saw the views, and I low key felt like I should have waited because I saw like the thumbnail and then the views under it. I'm like, damn, I wanted to see this in real life. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, like it, you almost got robbed of it. Yeah, 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 I got robbed of my first 100k uh, view video, but not really. No, nah, like, not really, because it's not. It wasn't legit. Yeah, but if it, it, I mean, it just all depends on how the videos are doing because I'm always checking like how my videos or what videos are expiring from last year. And right now, the one that's expiring is I think cheap versus expensive uh, cleats. And that video got 10k views. Oh, so I'm like, shit, like, so all that watch time is gonna expire. About to, I'm about to lose some watch time, yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, um, w- going from 
I think it was 1,500 watch time hours to 2,500 watch time hours. It took me less than a month because mm. I uploaded all of those cleat review videos. Yeah. And uh, during that time, the video of me doing my first cleat review video, the Predator Edge, that has 25,000 views, was losing its watch time hours because it's been past a year. Right. So... I guess it just like depends on it really just depends on how the videos are doing because like it could be done in the next month or the next three months. <laughs> yeah, depending on how these videos, these yeah. upcoming videos do. But the key thing is for me to make the videos a little bit longer because oh. last year, dude, all my vi my videos maxed out at the length of like five minutes. Yeah, and I've been watching them back. I'm like, wow, there's like no like story. There's no. There's no depth in these videos. He's literally okay. just kicking a ball. Yeah. So. Well, I feel it's kind of hard to, I feel like, to make it, like, super compelling. Just because, I mean, that format has been done a lot. Yeah, and know? it is quite literally kicking a ball unless I have guests on. Right. Which is nice when I do because this today's video has been really fun editing. Yeah. And I think it's, like, 12 minutes long. Okay. I've been, I've been thinking a lot about the video that we did. And I'm like, I'm still really upset I didn't hit that <laughs> Spoiler alert. Well, but no, I guess. It'll the video's out. Go watch it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I, uh, I, I've i been really upset that I didn't hit it. Because I was super confident. There was a couple of shots where it didn't go in. And I, I think at one point you actually like s hit the net, but not the actual, obviously not inside of it. Yeah, no, it... So like the circle right, I hit like the net right under the circle. The The <laughs> one that got me like so... Not pissed off, but raging upset uh -huh. is when you kicked it and it went like whoosh, it just dipped down. Yeah, it didn't go in. It was like on the trajectory of literally just swooshing in. Yeah, and then, and then it goes whoop. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, man. Dude, did you watch the VR to see if it went in? Yeah, it didn't go in. Oh, it, I it. It's kind of upsetting because it actually wasn't even that close. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. no. <laughs> I hate it when it happens, too, because from the angle we're kicking it at, it looks like it's so close. It literally looked like <laughs> it was going in, and then it just, like, dipped but at I, the last second. I looked at the side angle, and uh, <laughs> this is the goal, and the ball was like, <laughs> oh. like, this is the upper 90, and it went. <laughs> oh, yeah. So it, it did was, you include that angle? No. no okay, no, no, good. No. <laughs> I was gonna say don't include that angle. No, I can't. I can't. <laughs> We're gonna look like frauds. Yeah. And to be honest, I forgot I had that angle until like halfway editing the video. Oh, for real. <laughs> so I had to link it up halfway, and then the second mm. half of the video has that angle if I use it. Okay. Which is the best because it's during the second half is when we were actually getting super close. Yeah. Yeah. But that was really fun. That video was really fun. I really appreciate you making it. Yeah, out dude. I, I like going to go record. Especially now that I feel like I'm a little bit more comfortable in front of the camera. Because it's different. Like, doing a podcast versus, like, being in front of the camera in a podcast versus being in front of the camera for a video mm -hmm. is two different things. It really is. You know? Because here, it's, it's more conversational, obviously. You're literally just talking. But in the in the video, you kind of feel like there's pressure to kind of, like, Provide perform content. a little more. Yeah. yeah. But not knowing that the way you perform is just to be who you be anyway without the camera being on mm -hmm. so which i think you did a good job about <clears throat> yeah i, I just looking, pretended that i honestly most of the time i forgot the camera was even there which is awesome because if i'm being <laughs> honest i think you carried that video <laughs> oh for real <laughs> i was so focused on trying to hit that top ins uh, that like you did most of the talking yeah but <laughs> this funny part is that like for some reason your mic was very staticky and, like, uh -huh. there would be times where you're talking and you just sound like a fucking robot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it doesn't make any sense, though, because mine was perfectly fine until, I like, I went out of range. But, like, uh -huh. yours with, like, any little turn, if you faced your back to the camera. the camera and, like, any movement, it was staticky. So I had my – I was wearing this shirt and I I did this to it mm -hmm. right here. That shouldn't – Because up here is, like, the collar super tight. Yeah. So I moved it here so that way it wouldn't – bug up here mm -hmm. do you think that had anything to do with it um i, I don't know right. the only thing i can think if it did is that like down here like your whole torso is covering it and up here like there's more like range oh. to but that might be fucking pushing it i don't think so yeah i don't know but yeah the the video is almost 12 minutes long and, uh, nice. i'm excited let's go cool. but i'm also very nervous <laughs> i would be too dude uh. <laughs> It, it'll be. I'm. I'm excited to watch it too. Not gonna lie. 
It comes out at six today. Uh, okay, so next, have you seen the most recent Sideman Sunday? Uh, the hide and seek one. Yeah, yeah, I did. You want to see the timeline for it? The timeline. The editing timeline. Oh shit! How'd you get that? They posted it on Twitter. Oh, for real? Yeah. Like the Sideman post on Twitter. It's fucking okay. insane, dude. <laughs> yeah. Bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you, like send me that after the podcast, yeah, I'll just so I can you. like stare in awe and amazement. I, I I was in bed last night and I was looking at it and I, I told Gavin, I'm like, "Baby, you want to see the Sidemen editing timeline?" She's like, "Yeah, sure." And I showed it to her. She's like, "Yeah, no, 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 I'm okay." <laughs> she's like, "I don't even want to com- like start to comprehend this." Yeah, because she she's like somewhat familiar of what like the timeline is and how it works. Right. But I think like the video starts up here. Oh, no, that's still audio. Yeah, that's audio up so there. So, video is up here. and I, I think that may be all of it. Yeah, but, dude, all of this. Holy. This was, and this was done within two weeks. They filled in the, the 24th, and it came out two days ago. That's uh, insane. <laughs> a couple of editors pulled in fucking shifts for that one, dude. It's it was so, like a 24 around the clock it, kind of thing. I, I want them to... Start at the beginning and just zoom out all the way to the end. I want to see that. But holy. it'd be cool if the <clears throat> if they did some like for the editor people, right? If they did something of like a behind the scenes of editing, like like any super monstrous video, they do like a behind the scenes. Oh, there's a there's a guy on TikTok that does behind the scenes of editing. I think it's uh, Sideman TikToks though, not like oh. Sideman videos. Bro, I I doubt any of the editors would want to do that though. <laughs> They're like, I'm putting so much time into this shit. I'm not gonna do a behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, no. I'm saying is another editor does the behind the scenes. Oh, okay, okay. Like, because okay. there's no way one person did that. Oh no. There's no. no way. There was a couple of people that. Yeah, they did have that. a whole group. Yeah. You know, when I was watching the video, I was like, all right, there's like 48 people. I was right. thinking about how it was looking too. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. How do they organize it? Yeah. So if you don't know, which if you're watching this, you probably do know just because like you're in our demographic or whatever, our target market. But Sidemen, right? They UK group and like popular YouTube group, and they did a video this that came out this last Sunday. That they had like forty, I'm pretty sure forty or forty eight, of like the biggest YouTubers in like the UK. And they did a. They were in a rugby stadium, and they did a hide and seek there. And every single one had a camera, and then it's the seven seven members. So all seven had a camera, plus the camera crew that had their cameras. That's a lot Bro. of cameras. That's at least like almost a hundred cameras. Bro, I was thinking about the logistics behind that. They have to have. They have. I mean, they, I don't know if they own all that gear. But they had to get all that gear. And then recording, they would say, oh, it's been two hours and I've been in this spot. I'm like, bro, your fucking camera's not dead yet? Oh, they they gave... I saw... Um, I have a Side Plus subscription, which I'm going to be getting rid of to get that thumbnail oh, thing. Oh, that's the one that's get, you're getting rid of. Yeah, and they have like BTS on there. Oh, and okay. on the BTS, they have uh, like a whole... They had a whole table with everybody's GoPros and like a a bag with all the stuff that they were going to need for the game. And in the bag, it had like three spare GoPro batteries. It's like they were in charge of switching the the batteries. Oh, got it. Got it. Yeah. But each camera, each GoPro had three batteries. I think so. (laughs) Dude, that's like a couple years of just footage right there. (laughs) Yeah. dude. And then to sit through it, because some of the people, that's what I don't get. Like, how do you decide what's going to go in and what's not? Well, yeah, because imagine, like, you're hiding, right? And some <sighs> of the people, like, um, uh, who uh, it was, a, like, a more popular one. Billy? Wingrove? Yeah. He he, didn't, ba- he barely was there. He barely made the cut as far as, like, his footage in the final edit, except when he got caught, you know? Yeah. I think it's just because he was literally just hiding and, oh. like, not really talking to like the camera. He, but, like, do you, do you think... I'm assuming he, he actually talked. talked to the camera. And they were just, like, it's not good enough. Like, these people are more... I, I guess with those type of things, they have to follow a storyline. Like, they can't just... Well, yeah. Show everybody. Because I get the... 
their way of showing everybody is at the beginning. Everybody's in the middle. Everybody, the viewers know who's all involved. Right. And eventually, they're all going to get shown because they eventually all get caught. Yeah. Yeah, because it followed... Um, damn, who did it? It followed, like, Jay, me, and Deji a lot. Deji was in it a lot. Bro, he had me cracking up. <laughs> I think at one point it panned to him. He just fucking farted. He was like... He starts dancing. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, damn, that that shit. Oh, I was shit. not expecting it to be that funny. <laughs> and then you're just like, bro, this guy's a fucking millionaire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's just sitting, hiding somewhere, like farting. Yeah. But yeah, that's an insane timeline, bro. And it's color coded too. It fucking better be color coded. But even then, how many colors can you do? There's only. Like There's like 10. twelve, right? Yeah. Like 10 I, I started. I just started color coding my shit too. Nice, dude. I'm pretty sure not even a full length feature film has that many. It, this is basically a full length feature film. With the amount of work that was put behind it, yeah, dude. I think it takes editing wise, timeline wise. This is more intense than some films. I'm gonna say. Like you can tell, like if this is a one, like someone's angle. Well, this is audio, right? Yeah. So the like, look, somebody got cut off and wasn't really shown the rest of the time. Oh. You see what I'm saying? It's like you can see as they get eliminated. Yeah, like whoever this was only got like two minutes of screen time. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first guy that got eliminated. Yeah. That one guy that walked into the group. <laughs> oh, and that was probably him. Yeah. That was so funny. Brother. <laughs> he was like, for fuck's sake. Yeah, but then, but like, not even because this is all the talking right here. This is all side stuff, like sound effects. Because this is all the talking right and here. And music. Yeah. And oh, shit. Because this is audio, right? And then this is probably video, is what I'm assuming. And then there's that there's that space, and then it cuts down to, like, effects. I thought this was audio. Like, I oh. thought this was... So this is audio. Oh, right, right, this right. must be all effects. And then this is video. You're right. Because this looks like Premiere. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But yeah, this Fuck. is just people talking. This is what my video looks like. <laughs> yeah, literally. Like from here up, is doable. Like this, this is regular, and then holy shit! <laughs> oh fuck, 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 fuck! I just dropped my. Oh, oh! It's still, it's still recording. Uh, nice. Bear beat. Sorry. <laughs> <coughs> All right. Well, I will pop in a. Because I'll be editing this episode, so I'll pop in that, that image so you guys can see what we're talking about. And if you know anything about editing, you're going to be bamboozled about how crazy it is. Damn. Nice. My drink. That's some, uh, what's it called? Bro, I just That's lost some like of caffeine. 50 milligrams of caffeine. <laughs> you know they make single serving or like a mini version of this? That's only 100 milligrams? Yeah. I thought about getting one, but I'm like, what's the point? I just chug that shit. I just, I just take a 200 one. Well, I was thinking about it, and I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Cleaning it. Oh, sweat. with energy drink juice. <laughs> Shut up. It's gonna get sticky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you go, bro. Ain't no worries. For the rest of your days, it's a problem-free philosophy. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> but yeah, I started school back again. You know, going on the, the classic Inner House podcast. Started school again. Yesterday, Monday the 8th, was my first day of school. How'd that go? It was pretty good. It was it was a long day. I got there at 1.30 and I didn't leave until 8.40. Damn. Yeah, it was a long day. But it's good. I like it because like, I'm a senior, right? So, most of the professors only have seniors, and they're fucking awesome. Because <laughs> they treat you like a fucking senior. They treat you like an adult, yeah. Yeah, like, my, like it felt so laid back in one of the classes. Like, <coughs> he said he was going to be a tough grader, which makes sense. Like, this is literally the last step before we go into the real world. Yeah. So, he's like, I'm going to expect real world quality work, which I'm like, okay, cool. Like, 
That makes sense. I, I'd hope so. Kind That's of thing, expectable. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, like that's not an un- un- unreasonable thing to ask. Yeah. And then the rest of the time we just fucking spent like talking and laughing and making jokes, but like learning at the same time. Yeah, I, I think it's awesome it because cool. everybody already knows the majority of the things that you need, you need to know, and uh, <clears throat> at the same time. Like, you guys as seniors have the past three years, like, had classes together. So, you essentially almost already yeah. know each other. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. There's, like, nine of us that, like, know, know each other pretty well. And the way he's going to split up groups, I think, is either groups of three or two. And we choose. So, in between us, we're all going to split it in between, like, our group. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's one of the my favorite parts about... Being a senior, I mean, I dropped out and everything, but <laughs> my favorite part was showing up to class and, like, having the professor's respect about, like, how how to go on things. Because, like, uh, one specific professor, I'll shout him out, uh, Fallowfield, I've talked to him about you before. Or I've talked to... Yeah, you talked to me about You him about before. him before. Yeah. Um, we had a class to where it was, like, the, the biggest cl- biggest... Imp- most important class of the um of the degree plan of the degree plan because you actually get to do hands-on work with an actual um c- civilian i guess let's call them mm-hmm. that's not a student mm-hmm. um just basically putting everything that you learned the past three or four years into that one person and essentially just training them and trying to help them meet their go- meet reach their goals and we showed up to class, and the first day, he's like, y'all are seniors. I'm not going to give you guys a syllabus. You guys already know me, and everybody has already had him. She, and he, like, knows everybody on first-name basis. Nice. And he's like, this is what we're doing. Like, if you guys you guys, if you guys, guys if need my number, let me know. You can text me. Um, and, yeah, he was just super, super fucking chill. chill about yeah. it. Nice. I'm like, damn, this is nice. Because, like, when, we, when I first <clears throat> met him, I was a, a sophomore. Because it was my second year of college, but in my first year at IUPUI, technically. Mm. And I was taking, like, a beginner class because that's what I had for the curriculum. And he was my first professor. And it was a big lecture full of 300 people. And he, it's just, like, him at the very bottom. And he's like, this guy's going to never never know who I am. And then to the very end, he's like, oh, what's up, Jose? I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, how the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought, yeah, I thought that was a pretty cool part. Yeah, my... uh uh, one of my professors I'm going to have later tonight, she was my first marketing professor that I ever had. She was the one that, like, kind of got me into wanting to go into this, the, like, the career path. Nice. And now I'm about to have her for my last semester. Nice. So it's like a nice, like, little bow to yeah, tie up yeah, the, yeah. Uh, my school year. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, last semester, what, what are your – do you have any plans for the end of the semester? Um – so I was, I've been thinking a lot about it because I'm like, all right, well, the best time to get a job in like in marketing would be right after school. Yeah. Right. Because that's like when I have my most connections, that's when like school provides all like these job fairs and LinkedIn and blah, 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 blah. Like all this, all this stuff that literally helps you get a job. Right. So that'd be the best thing. But unless I can find one that fits really well with like my schedule and like with my upcoming schedule with um you know what i mean <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> yeah um i don't think i don't know cuz i've been talking to Gaiden and i think i might just stay at the job i'm at now and try to um, like keep on working out at my photography mm-hmm. and get that good and do that as a side hustle until until x amount of time and then look for a job but my buddy James that I've talked to you about who photography guy. Yeah. Um, he is, I have to talk to him about it cause he works at it for a university doing photo shoots. Right. Oh, but his schedule is super cool. Cause he, he works 10 months out of the year. Is that his full time job? Yeah. Oh, he works t- 10 months out of the year and then he, he'll do four days out of the month. So he's it's only working bad. like 40 days out of the year. Yeah. Or something like that. And it's traveling to different universities around, like, different locations that that university owns, right? So does he just work under an organization that are partnered with those universities? No, he works for the university. 
Oh. Like for the university, and then they have different like site locations oh, scattered like around. IU Bloomington, IU. Right, and then he would just go to those places and do like <coughs> photo shoots or interviews with a student body, or they're having an event. He'll go f- photograph that. You know, it's like IU doing the uh, f- what's it called? Oh, what's it called? The boat race that they do. Regatta. Yeah, yeah, the regatta. The canoe race. Yeah, it's like he'll go and. I don't know, maybe interview like the president of IU. Oh. And like, but he does photos specifically. There's a video guy and a photographer. And he said that they're expanding their team. So I'm trying to see if I can get into there. I would really try and do that, yeah. Yeah. Because then I'll do that and then stay. Oh, fuck. That's on, that's <laughs> on you, bro. <laughs> 33 minutes in. <laughs> oh, no. Stay I, at my current <laughs> job. Um,. And yeah, but dang it, I have to edit that out. I'll send you a reminder text. It's okay. <laughs> I, I, I'll remember. Yeah, you don't want that shit in. No, I don't Wait, want it. Just a little. Don't forget what you were gonna say. Uh-huh. <clears throat> but I talked to Jesse. Shout out Jesse if you're listening to this, which he probably is because he listens to most of them. Nice. Um, I talked to him over the holidays, and he was he's like, "Where does Pablo work? Like, do you mind telling me?" He's always talking about this <laughs> one place, and I'm like. <laughs> oh shit! Whoa, bro! <laughs> That's twice now. Thirty-three Scrap and thirty-four. <laughs> We're done here. <laughs> okay, let's stop yeah. talking about it because I might bleep that out again. <laughs> it's okay. What was it? Thirty-three. It's yeah. around like the thirty and thirty-five minute mark. I'll find it. It won't be hard. But uh, yeah. So I want to do that. But I also <laughs> I like the field I'm in, right? And. A lot of the professors are super cool about it. And, like, this one, the one that I had last night uh, for my evening class, he was, like, he's, like, look, he's, like, participate. He's, like, this is, like, that class is, he's, like, we're not really learning anything new. He's, like, you guys know all the basics, all the fundamentals. He's, like, this class is designed to put you to the test and took everything you've done in the past three years that you're talking about that class and put it together. He's, like, he's, like, this is a creative field. He's, like, be as creative as you want. And literally, yes, yesterday, we we built a puzzle, a little sixty piece puzzle of cup of a cupcake. What the fuck? And each one had a different cupcake, right? And we had to come up with the marketing strategy on how to put it to market, right? So that that includes the price, how are you going to promote it, um, uh, price, place, where you're going to have it at, promotion, uh, fuck, price, place, promotion. I can't remember the last P. I swear I'm a senior. <laughs> <laughs> and then me, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you for some advice about my pricing for my memberships on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about this in like a light bulb little. I'm like, yeah, because I've been struggling. I'm like, what do I price them and what do I add in them? I'm just gonna ask you. Well, a lot of the a lot of marketing is pricing a thing. Like uh-huh. you do research on like other competitors and how they how they're at what pricing strategy because there's different strategies you could do. You could be seen as a higher end product. And just price it above competitors. Mm. But people will buy just because you're higher end. You know, yeah. there's that market for that. But so anyways, we, we built this this puzzle, this little puzzle of a cupcake. And then we weren't allowed to make a strategy until we finished the puzzle first. So it was cool. It was like a team building thing. It was groups of three. And he had 25 minutes. You, you did it. And then you had to real fast come up with a fucking strategy and then present it. <laughs> it was super cool. And, like, the cool thing is, like, he, like, picked apart your strategy, but not in a condescending professor type of way. Like, oh, what about this? Oh, no, that's not right. Because he knows we know what we're talking about. But he was getting into things of, like, oh, you didn't think about this. Like, we had um, our group had a cupcake with a, with a green frosting and sprinkles, right? And so we were like, all right, we're going to call it um, the shamrock, you know, because that's, like, Irish themed, yeah. Or we're gonna call it the the Irishman or something like that. Or we're gonna call it Mary Jane, for yeah. yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> we decided against Mary Jane because we were we didn't know it's a school setting. We didn't know how the professor. He seemed super chill, but we didn't want to like cross any lines on the first day, right? <laughs> so we went with Shamrock. And the funny thing is, we said we were gonna sell it around Grand Park area uh-huh. and make it like a like a protein thing for after events. All the soccer moms go over. And get get their their cupcakes for their their teams, yeah. right? 
and he was like, oh, cool, cool. And then he goes, he, and then he was talking, and the more we talked, he's like, he's like, but why'd you guys stay in Indiana? He's like, I never said you had to stay in this area. He's like, you could have sold it in Colorado, in Washington. He's like, what's legal there? And we're like, oh. And then it was on our paper, and we're like, it's on our fucking sheet, bro. We fucking talked about it. And he's like, I'm just saying. He's like, it's, it's, like, it's the business world, right? He's like, there's no, like, appropriate or not. Yeah. kind of thing and and so he's like literally prepping us to get outside of the, the school mentality that you get and go more into like all right like you're actually out there like what's actually gonna shit. work yeah instead of like um <coughs> doing a under 18 type of thing right yeah keep, exactly keeping it family friendly exactly so i thought that was cool but yeah i think it'll be a good semester it'll be tough but it'll be a good semester but Sorry, I went on a little tangent. But, yeah, I think my, my plan's a little... If I can find a good job that is kind of works with, like, my needs, right? Yeah. Then I'll, I'll go for it. Yeah. A little bit of a devil's advocate here. Um, because I've seen it happen, and I don't want it to happen to you. Um, so, like, graduating and not having a job set in your career and then just, like, waiting for it. I've seen a lot of people do that and then just never... Yeah, get a job under their degree that they spent <laughs> hard-earned money and hard-earned time on. Yeah, well, for me, it's more hard-earned time. Yeah, that's you know, true. I I did my time in the military. I got my GI Bill. I'm using my GI Bill to pay for school. So the money thing for me isn't that much of a factor. It's more of like the past four years that I spent doing it, right? Yeah. So I think that gives me a special quote-unquote like privilege to look at it in a different lens because. I look at it more as like everything that because this podcast came out of going to school. That's true. You know. Yeah. We were out and like. Oh shit! We were at the library. Yeah, yeah. we were at the library, and one day I was just we were just sitting there, and I think it was just us two, and I was like, hey, "Bro, I'm like, what do you think about starting a podcast?" And without even thinking twice, you're like, "Yeah, let's do it." <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was so cool that you were like on board right away. It was so dope, um, and even this this podcast stays to just like jesse or whoever is whoever else watches regularly and listens cool you know this is like i consider this as a, as a hobby yeah. it's nice it's like it's a creative outlet you know what i mean let's us vent <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> about my youtube issues <laughs> yeah 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 exactly welcome to youtube issues <laughs> <laughs> in our youtube in our youtube <laughs> yeah but also i look at it as more of like all right it's helped helped me see and evolve into what I want to do, and photography is one of those things. So regardless, I'm gonna pursue that as like a side hustle hobby kind of thing to make some side money to hopefully eventually make my actual income out off of that. Mm-hmm. So if I don't end up going to getting a job in my degree, that's fine because regardless, I learn stuff and I have material from professors and notes and stuff on my laptop. Like, I literally have everything saved from the past couple of years on there that I can I can use in a real-world application. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I wouldn't be the most upset if I never ended up getting a job in marketing as long as my photography career is doing pretty well. So what what I'm hearing is that the degree is a fail safe. More yeah, more or less. Okay. And well, and the thing is, when I went into college, that was kind of my plan to get get a degree that's that's kind of like versatile, and I can get and I can do a lot with it. Hmm. Which well, not not even necessarily a fair a fail safe. It's just exactly what you you explained, like. Because some degrees are very specific. You can only do this certain thing. Your degree, you can venture off in, into different career paths. Right. Like, obviously, I'd have to learn, like, specifics about that path. And it might be a little tougher to get into it, especially without having the degree in that thing. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, I have, through school, you know, stuff you do at school is projects and, like, things like that. You can put it on your resume, and people will take it. Um. But yeah, cause yeah, cause I've always had like the entrepreneurial kind of spirit. It's like it's very dormant, very <laughs> dormant. But I've been working on trying to like dig it up. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and doing the photography thing is cool. I just I'm having issues like putting myself out there and like 
to be like, hey, I'm open for bookings kind of thing. Because I think I think too much about the background stuff. Like, all right, like, how are they going to get the photos? Like, how what am I going to use a website to book? Or is it just going to be like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's probably going to be your biggest enemy, trying to figure out how to do everything on the backside. And uh, um, my advice would be to just book somebody. Like, let's say, like, the backside, how to get people, like, their footage back. Obviously, you'll have the SD card with your camera and everything, and you just set up a Google Drive with them. Yeah. Well, yeah. I have, um, it's called Pixie Set. Um, What's that? It's, it, that? it's how I gave my Chris her photos okay. for her graduation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and um, um, it's essentially like an online gallery that you give the client a specific code, and only they can access their online gallery. So you, you've just answered your own question. You've already got everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so the real issue is just you going out and booking people. Yeah, and and like uh, <gasps> like announcing and promoting myself, I guess. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, but anyways, I, I thought about it too, and I, I'd, it'd be cool to own a studio of some sort. That would be nice. Like a rental studio. Yeah. And people could come rent for like, I don't know, fifty dollars an hour mm-hmm. to do a photo shoot with somebody, you know. And then in the back, we can have our podcast set up. That would be sick. That would <laughs> yeah. be sick. And then we can have a separate, separate podcast room that we rent out to people that want a podcast. And then we have our own uh, in our house studio. Exactly. But um, I think that's like not end game, but close to like. Not close to Endgame. It's just like... Well, yeah, I think the studio is closer to or like the more mature phase of my career. Yeah. And maybe when I'm like... See, I'm 27 right now. I don't know, like 32. That gives me like the last five years. You know, depending on how all this stuff goes. Mm-hmm. But it's just so expensive, bro, all these lenses. But it's... I'll, 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 but so I, I think you're really... And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Like, I'm not gonna fucking sugarcoat anything for you, cause um, I think you're really nervous about launching your quote unquote photography business. Cause one, I know you've been talking about a name and want to name it, <laughs> yeah. and two, like the whole like billing processes and all that. Uh, my opinion is there's nothing wrong with a soft launch. So like essentially like. Just book people. You don't necessarily have a name yet. You're just still trying to figure out how to um, establish your business, your company. And because, like, you could easily book people, whether that's family members or people you know, or just reaching out to people on Instagram and all that. You could easily do that, get a couple clients, and then down the road, you'll be like, oh, like, this is this is nice. Like I I like what I'm doing, and maybe during then like it'll pop. Like dude, I like this name for my company, and then yeah. you announce is like, hey, I've been doing photography for this long. I have officially announced that my company is called so and so. Right. So like I I think you're too worried too much about having everything set, ready to go as soon as you launch, or not necessarily launch, but like start. And I think you should just get your get out there and do it. Well, and the thing is. The market in this area that we live in is super good, too, as far as, like, <coughs> they're more willing to pay a little more money for... A good photo. Yeah, and they understand that they're paying money for, like, experience and photo and just whatever, you know. I was I was watching some TikToks, dude, and some, some dude charges, like, $650 for an hour, and it only gets back seven fully edited photos. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Bro, that sounds like a ripoff. Seven, <laughs> but that's insane. Seven photos? <coughs> but I mean, everyone has their own business model, and obviously the dude's successful and he's making money, but. Oh, I just thought of an idea for you. I don't know if I want to say it on live, though. Let me write it down. Okay. But yeah, I mean, obviously, like, you know, you kind of learn <coughs> and you grow, but it's cool. I like that I have somebody at work that's like a photography buddy that I can kind of run things past and. He shares his experiences. Because he's been doing photography for a little while. Which he's about to start his own podcast. <coughs> oh, that's yeah, sick. It's, it's should, First episode should be dropping 
anytime now. Oh shit! Yeah, a photography specific podcast, bro. Yeah, that <laughs> that's gonna be the podcast you're invited to. <laughs> well, I told him. <laughs> you're like, bro, please, this is my dream. <laughs> I told him, and then he told me when he texted me, he's hey, bro, I'm doing a podcast. He's like, it's gonna come out this time, <laughs> and obviously he knows that. And I've been telling him like, oh, I'm I'm new to photography. I've only really been like dabbling and trying and doing stuff for maybe about like a year on and off right and he goes he's oh that's cool man and he knows and and through me talking he he can tell that i know enough to kind of keep a conversation going about it so he told me he goes he goes hey man i'd love to have you on one day though so he obviously when i i have more of a career in it and it keeps on or keeps just on just not even not even when you obviously have like a career in it it's just right. a matter of like hey i'm starting like this is what I know. Like what, how how can you help? Or not necessarily how can you help, but like what yeah. knowledge can you give me? And I'm gonna give the best knowledge I have. Yeah. And you look back on it like a couple of years, be like, bro, I was such a kid, not a kid. I was such I was such a newbie. A newbie yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he he invited me on whenever, uh, <coughs> whenever he actually like does like the real invite for me to come on. Hey. And I told him I was like, bro, I'm like. I'm like, this might be a little too much information, but I'm like, I've always wanted to be a guest on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be so weird listening to you on a different podcast. As a guest? <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like I'm cheating on this. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome, though. So, like, it should drop anytime soon? I think I, I, I'm going to text him and be like, hey, bro, when, when's it dropping? Because he told me at the beginning of January. Yeah, tell him I'm, I'm waiting for the drop. And once oh, it, once it drops, send me yeah. the link. And he does movies. Like, his own, like, short film like a director dude sorry you mentioned that and i know somebody that's like rich as hell doing that oh shit! like i personally know somebody oh shit (laughs) yeah yeah, yeah. um his instagram is bobby's world oh yep i i I knew you were gonna say bobby's world yeah Yeah. dude i met him at the gym back when we lived over near the chick-fil-a i used to work at Mm -hmm. and the dude was so cool like we'd hang not hang out we'd gym together um at one point, we were over at his apartment just talking, like, nice. together. And this guy's traveling the world. Like, he's getting on private jets. Like, he, doing short films and stuff Yeah, like yeah, that. he does short films. He does, like, business meetings and all of that. The guy's got... Nice. He's killing it, man. Nice. Yeah, yeah, So, yeah. like, short short films are... If you do it right, it can yeah. make you a lot of money. And the cool thing is, he's my age. He might be, like, a year younger or something. Damn. Yeah. I think Bobby's world is... Uh, he might be a couple years older than us, mm-hmm. like maybe like two or three. Nice. But yeah, dude's killing it. Yeah, but it's exciting, you know, the the end of a semester, and then you getting monetized hopefully in the next couple of months. That's the goal. We're gonna throw a monetization <laughs> party. <laughs> uh, I don't know, but I am. I think I might cry. <laughs> yeah. I well, I think I think I will cry. Yeah. It, it's been it's been a long journey. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's there's a lot of good things to look forward to this year, man. Yeah, because it'll be my – like, I've never worked so hard for this one thing. and You've been doing it for what, like two years? Yeah. Octo- oh, like a year and a this half. This October is going to be three years. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, two years of soccer content. Yeah. Because I started just vlogging. Does it feel like two years? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it feels like I've been doing it for one year. Yeah. It doesn't even feel like it's been that long. Like sometimes when you edit when you edit a video, does it feel like it's your first video? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. S- sometimes it does where I'm I'm at like a creative block, but then other times like I have I'm so organized with everything now, which is so nice because when I first started, oh I know that shit was fucking ass. Yeah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> and like now I have files like on the next say like main main angles, music, extras, animations, and all that, and it's just. It's been crazy because I've, I'm so close to what I've been working for for so long, and honestly, like I, I'm gonna be so excited when I hit it because I am gonna hit it. Yeah. And, uh, but as soon as I hit it, like it's the work just gets even it, more it, difficult. It's essentially. almost like the real work starts once you yeah, get monetized, yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> the real work starts because then I'm gonna find out what my RPM is. And like how many, mm, like different metrics get unlocked? Yeah, well, I've already unlocked some metrics. Oh, yeah, cool. I'll show you after the pod. <laughs> but um, cause like on the revenue side, it shows like um, I think it's like dollar amount per a thousand views. I saw that and I'm like, holy shit, per a thousand views. Like some of my videos only get two thousand views. 
So like that really put um, a scale of like how much bigger I need to get and like how much better I need to make my videos. Right, to like start making some real money off of it. Yeah, and but I also like that I do shorts and uh, apart from the long form videos because shorts also get views. Mm -hmm. They're like monetization views, revenue. Um, so I'm excited to see how that's going to work whenever I do hit it. But I, it, it honestly, it's surreal knowing that it's like within reach. Yeah, dude. Like it's right there. And I just need a, a 500 hours of watch time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn. Well, that's a very nice way to end the episode. Appreciate you guys watching. Again, if you're on YouTube, you know, do all the YouTube things like subscribe, comment, bell notifications on, please. And then if you're on Spotify listening, uh, please rate us. Five stars preferred, obviously, but do as you wish. And with that, don't do as you wish. Five stars. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.